A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The crowds asked John the Baptist, What should we do? And he said to them in reply, Whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none, and whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And what is it that we should do? And he told them, Do not practice extortion, and do not falsely accuse anyone, and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. The people in today's Gospel are filled with expectation. They believe John the Baptist might be the Messiah they've been waiting for. Three times we hear their question, What then should we do? The Messiah's coming requires every man and woman to choose to repent or not. That's John's message, and it will be Jesus' message too. Repentance translates a Greek word metanoia, literally change of mind. In the scriptures, repentance is presented as a twofold turning away from sin and turning towards God. This turning is more than attitude adjustment. It means a radical life change. It requires good fruits as evidence of your repentance. That's why John tells the crowds, soldiers and tax collectors, they must prove their faith through works of charity, honesty, and social justice. In today's liturgy, each of us is being called to stand in that crowd and hear the good news of John's call to repentance. We should examine our lives, ask from our hearts as they did, what should we do? Our repentance should spring, not from our fear of coming wrath, but from a joyful sense of the nearness of our saving God. This theme resounds through today's readings. Rejoice! The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all. We hear in today's epistle, in today's responsorial psalm, we hear again the call to the joyful, unafraid at the Lord's coming among us. In today's first reading, we hear echoes of the angel's annunciation to Mary. The prophet's words are very close to the angel's greeting. Mary is the daughter of Zion, the favored one of God, told not to fear, but to rejoice that the Lord is with her, a mighty Savior. She is the cause of our joy, for in her draws near the Messiah, as John had promised, one mightier than I is coming.